Well, hi there everyone, it's Leon the Milkman here and I'm here to answer a question on Renet and the setting capability in milk. So uh, if you add Renet to the milk and it's not setting, what could be the issue? So um, there's either an issue with the milk or with the Renet or both. So uh, the issues that can happen with the milk is the milk could be diluted. So water addition, so um, or the protein can just be ridiculously low. Um, but normally with water addition, um, it lowers the protein um, and it lowers the casein or dilutes the protein and dilutes the soluble casein. And both of those are integral together with the Rena to get a good firm and rapid set. So besides the dilution, we could look at over pasteurization of the milk. So long life milk or UHT ultra high temperature milk will never work with Renet temperatures too high. So remember Renet is originally um, from a calf stomach. Um, so even the microbial Renets we use now, um, they, they are not working on over pasteurized milk because uh, that casein part of the protein that the rennet works on has been denatured, it's been cooked, it's the structure changes and the enzyme uh, rennet that acts like a key in a lock, now the, the key doesn't fit anymore because the structure has physically changed of that protein. So over pasteurization, so long life uh, won't work, some uh, pasteurized shock milks w will work and some won't. You have to do a little test. So you take half a cup of the milk, put it in the microwave or heat it up, whichever way you like, to about 35 degrees Celsius and uh, add a little bit of rennet. If it sets, you know that milk is going to work and you can buy your 10 liters or 20 liters or whatever you want to use uh, for your cheese. Don't go and buy the, the, the milk and then discover that brand, specific brand is not working for you. Then on the, the Renet side, um, could be your Renet's very old. You can also do this Renet test just to make sure it's still working. You might need to add a little bit more. Uh, you could be using too little uh, if you're not getting a set. So uh, Renet's got a international uh, standard, international milk clotting units or IMCUs. Uh, normally liquid Renet is 600 IMCU to 1000 IMCU per milliliter. Uh, powdered Renet can be 1,800 and 2,000 and upwards. So uh, you're aiming for 30 to 40 IMCUs per milliliter. So if I've got 100 liters of milk and I've got 600 IMCU strength Renet, I'm going to need, uh, say, 30 IMCUs per liter. 30 times 100 is 3,000 IMCUs in total to set that 100 liters of milk. That divided by the 600 IMCU per milliliter strength of the Renet gives me five. So I'm going to use five milliliters of that 600 IMCU strength Renet to set that 100 liters of milk. That needs a total of minimum 3000 IMCUs. Okay, so um, also Renet, because it's an enzyme, temperature affects it. So, um, you know, normally. Uh, close to body temperature is best um, and if you're working with animal rennet which is more sensitive anything about 40 41 will probably knock it off um, some of the microbial rennets most of the microbial rennets are more heat resistant so they can take a bit more um, so okay i hope that uh, gives you a good guide um, there's some other factors um, you know um, that could be involved um, let me say homogenization is not one of them. Uh, homogenization uh, normally goes together with pasteurization in commercial milks. And uh, it's not the homogenization that prevents the setting, it's the over pasteurization combined with it. Also, uh, antibiotics. You're not allowed to use antibiotic milk. In uh, any case, if you make cheese, most cheeses. Um, you're going to use culture and the antibiotics will knock off the bacterial culture, the lactic acid bacteria. It will not knock off the Renet. Renet's an en enzyme that works independently and your milk will still set even if there's antibiotics in. Just a little bit of science there. Um, so yes, I hope that helped you and uh, all the best with your cheese making, Leon the Milk Man. Cheers.